This is Milo Max. I'm going to show you how I widen my pedals. I move my clutch pedal further to the left and the brake pedal further to the left. So you have room for your foot when you install a console. Also, even if you don't have a console, it seems like if you have medium or large size feet, the pedals are too the pedals are too close together anyway. I took the assembly apart. First thing you have to do is take out this pin. It pushes out from the back side. Then you can get your clutch pedal off. Then there's a snap ring in here to remove your brake pedal. Back to the clutch pedal, I cut less than half inch groove in this side and the back side. You can see where I welded it. You cut that groove, then you bend the pedal down to match it and weld it. As you can see, you can hardly see that. And it's definitely welded in there good. Now on the brake pedal, I cut this weld. Remember the pedal's off. I stuck it into the vise and bent this lower arm and this arm right here so it moves the pedal out about an inch. The brake pedal out about an inch. Then after that was moved out, I bent this thing back down. Maybe I held it with a vice grip, then re-welded this. Now when you move your pedals out, they're going to be slanted like that. You simply get a pair of channel what's the word <laughs> yeah channel no adjustable wrench I'm sorry adjustable wrench stick it on here and bend it till it's uh, straight and that's how you move your pedals out oh I take the time to show you how a pedal assembly gets installed at least how I install them. I think this is how the factory does it. You have your cables in, but they're not hooked up to anything in the back. First thing you do, grab the assembly and hold your clutch pedal. And work the cable, the end of the cable, onto that lever like that now don't let the clutch pedal go don't let it come back Like I said, work it in there. Don't let your clutch pedal swing back. And that's in there. I'm gonna see something. Yeah, I just verified that it's still hooked up. Hold on to your clutch pedal. This is when I hook up the, uh, the 
accelerator cable. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say that you want to make sure you have grease on the end of the cable, the, the loop end, and also on the uh, little hook that's on the clutch cable. You want to make sure that's greased up. And I also have my uh, pedal stop plate bolted in down here. That keeps your pedals from coming back too far. But it only works once you have the pedal assembly uh, bolted in. That's why I say it's important to hold on to your clutch pedal when you uh, mount the clutch cable. Okay. You have to be aware of this spring down here. Right now it's upside down. Because the little loop end on the spring gets hooked on your uh, master cylinder push rod. So you just leave that sitting there loose. Like I said, the hook, the hooked end is back. Start the bolts. Let's do this another way. Put it in the end of an extension assembly. See where the hole is. There. Okay. As you can see, the whole time I was holding on to the clutch pedal assembly, the clutch pedal. To make sure it didn't come back yet, because if, if it falls back, the end of the cable comes off the uh, clutch arm. And you have to start over. Let me tighten that rear one up a little bit more. See the clutch pedal won't go back any further. Now is when you put your uh, master cylinder push rod push rod lever or rod back in there. This particular one has a retaining clip. You can see it. 
that in there. Then you have to um, bring up the the loop end of the spring and catch it on that. Then torque down these bolts and uh, adjust the uh, master cylinder push rod so you have just the littlest bit of play like quarter inch make sure that your um, pedal stop is in the right place and that's torqued down when you have your assembly in before you tighten these bolts and you put the master cylinder push rod on you can make sure the uh, clutch cable is still hooked up just push down the clutch cable for a pedal push down the clutch pedal walk to the back and pull on the uh, cable if your cable comes up like that you know you're good I wanted to give you a measurement of the clutch pedals to show you what kind of difference it makes. From the uh, center main tube to the center of the uh, brake pedal, it's like five and three eighth inches. Up here, It's about the same, almost five and a half. The sole of my foot is four and a half inches wide. That only gives you a half inch either way. But without this being moved over, you can see it'd be real hard to get your foot in there and hit, get, hit the gas pedal. So like I said, from the side of the uh, main tunnel to the center of the uh, brake pedal it's like five and three eighth inches almost five and a half it's a little hard to measure this way and the clutch pedal is uh, almost ten and a half but it makes driving a lot easier when you can hit all your pedals when you want to and that's about it Smile Max. Later.